Greetings. I'm about to do something that I don't normally do. I think as a writer, I have this OCD thing to make sure that my words are clear and precise before recording them on video. I'm doing this freeform. I've made three attempts so far and trashed two of them, so you can see maybe how well that's working for me. But I'm determined to do this. This video is about getting rid of excess energy. Someone asked about dealing with excess energy from the upcoming full moon. There's a technique that I suggest called grounding and centering. Now you may have noticed in my elemental path videos, if you've seen them, there are several centers throughout and that is basically bringing the energy of each of the elements into your center. And then there is a final grounding and centering, in which you can take all the elements in and then draining the excess into the earth. So you may want to go through that and check that out. Another thing is uh, my two videos, the Healing Path Meditation and the Easter Island Grounding. Those both concern getting in touch with the ground and being able to run the energy into and up from the ground. Uh, the healing path uses a water metaphor and a drain in which you're draining negative energy down into the drain of the bath. Another good technique is one that's explained by Starhawk in The Spiral Dance. And, and that is picturing yourself as a tree. And you're taking in air and nutrients from the air and water. And you're taking in water and nutrients from your roots. And you're recycling it all through yourself. And you're drying up energy and letting excess energy drain down into the ground. Another technique is something that I taught my students at one time when I was teaching students personally, which I'm kind of isolated now, so I don't do that anymore. But it's a technique that I use in healing in kind of a Reiki. It's not really. I talked to a Reiki expert about this. There is a slight difference. But what I do is I push healing energy in through my left hand and draw negative out through my right hand. I take the energy from my right hand, run it through my body and down into the ground. Picture it as an X. So I'm drawing negative energy out through my right hand, through my body, down into the ground through my left hand my left foot, excuse me. And with my right foot, I am drawing energy up, crossing it back over into my left hand, where I push energy, positive energy, healing energy, back in to replace the energy. And it's a balancing out. So that's one technique of, of being able to get in touch with the ground and being able to drain stuff down. Now, if you have shields and you've imagined shields and you've set them up, hopefully you left a space at the soles of your feet. In that way, you can draw energy up through the soles of your feet and then back down. Let the excess energy drain back down into the earth because you don't want to be fully energy energized all the time. In that same way, you can also draw energy from the moon or the sun. I've drawn both. That's what being a high priest does. And allow the excess of that energy to drain down into the earth. So there's a technique that you may want to think of. Draining the excess energy out. That way you have that energy to use, but you don't get overloaded. So that's my magic tip for this video. Hopefully you understood that. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to 
to comment on my YouTube channel or on the Facebook group where you found this. Thank you very much. <laughs> Brightest blessings. And as always, Mark Silver out for now.